wait for the Lord. Be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. The bronze semper, semper, uh, the bronze serpent and the pole prefigures Christ on the cross. Just as the Israelites were safe from the serpents when they looked on the image of serpent, when we look on Jesus' sacrificial death and believe in him, he has the power to save us from death. Brothers and sisters, let us untouch our sins and so prepare us for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. My mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. The nations shall revere your name, O oh Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory, when the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. <clears throat> let this be written for the generation to come and let us future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth 
to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I'm going away and you all look for me, but you all die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself. He is he because he said, where well, I'm going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift, lift up the Son of Man, then you all realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own. But I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. In this fast moving and busy world. To be patient is truly a virtue. But in a place where it is lacking in water and food, to be patient is really a test of endurance and character. In the first reading, the people traveling through the wilderness lost patience, and they spoke against God and Moses. It was not that there was no food or water, but it was just enough for their sustenance, and they were complaining of being sick of the unsatisfying food. But it was God's turn to lose patience with his people, and he punished them by sending fiery serpents to bite them. Though God is merciful and compassionate, and he forgives us when we sin, let us also not put God to the test. When we face difficulties in life, instead of complaining uh, and grumbling, let us first be grateful and be thankful for the blessings that we have received from God. To be aware of God's blessings and to be thankful is indeed a great virtue because it takes humility to be thankful when the going is difficult. Trusting 
that we belong to our loving Father, let us bring our prayers before him. For all who, have, who serve in the church, may the grace of God further strengthen them in their mission. Let us pray to the Lord. For our leaders and all who hold power in this world, may God grant them the ability for just and prudent decision-making. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick, injured, and dying, and for those who care for them, may Christ, the divine physician, bring healing and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the Lord sow seeds that bear much fruit in building up the kingdom of God on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of all the faithful, faithful departed, especially we pray today for Margaret Connery. May they be rewarded with eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our private intentions, we truly bring to this mess. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and answer the prayers we offer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through our goodness we have received the bread we offer you from out the earth and word of human hands. We have become as the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through our goodness we have received the one we offer you from our divine and work of human hands, we become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, tell me sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you all that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like to fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and at the willing intercession, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Master of faith, when we eat this bread, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In the service come and inform by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Love none our sins, but the fact of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <coughs> <coughs> A 
And behold, the Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that every seeking word is divine. We may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.